So it looks like the rumor that George Lucas is returning to Star Wars is true. According to Inside the Magic, he's returning to write at least two episodes of the Andor Disney Plus series, which is, of course, a spinoff, I think, prequel to Rogue One. I liked Rogue One, but... I really don't have much interest in this series. In fact, I don't really have much interest in Star Wars at all right now because of what they've done until Kathleen Kennedy is removed from the franchise. I I don't really have any interest in anything that comes out of that company anymore. And I don't think I'm the only one. So he's, in effect, returning to a broken franchise, basically. He's coming back to a splintered fan base. And just a broken, a broken franchise that he used to run. Like you have to imagine what must be going on in his head to see all of this stuff play out. Now it's just been ran through the mud from Disney. I'm I'm surprised he's agreed to come back at all. To be honest, you think he would just sit back and walk away? But uh, they're saying he's coming back. They're saying he's coming back. So. According to them, in the exciting turn of events, it seems that George Lucas will be returning to Star Wars in a meaningful way with Andor. IMDb has confirmed that the man who created a galaxy far, far away is the writer of two episodes of the upcoming streaming show. Lucas was last heavily involved with the Star Wars universe when he worked with Dave Filoni, who is now executive producer of Jon Favreau's The Mandalorian on the animated series Star Wars Clone Wars. The Lucas film founder and science fiction guru has expressed that he ha- that he expected to have more say in Disney's sequel trilogy and that he would return to Star Wars if given full creative control, which I believe comes from Overlord DVD. While he that doesn't say what he doesn't seem to have total control of Andor, it is likely that Lucas's episodes will be used to propel the storyline forward however he sees fit. Furthermore, since Andor is stated to have 12 episodes, it's possible that Lucas will write additional scripts. So, you know, this is just a lost opportunity. For some reason, Kathleen Kennedy, well, you know, I don't even know why she's doing this. She doesn't want fans of the original trilogy, the the fans that like Gina or have a different political a different political mindset than what she wants. She wants a whole new fan base. Or, you know, at least fans of the original trilogy that line up with her politically. This is more important to her than money. And it's never been more clear than after everything that's happened over the past two weeks. And we're going to we're going to catch up on that, too. But what a waste this is. What a waste. First off, you're bringing him back for Andor, not Obi-Wan or something like that. What a waste. So I, I don't know. I, I would have been excited for this uh, three or four weeks ago, but I really just don't care now, and I don't think I'm the only one. George has to know this. He, you know he knows what's going on. I don't know about you know being so up-to-date about it, but I'm sure he heard the news that she got fired, and anybody with five brain cells can tell that her firing was political. The double standards at Lucasfilm are there for everybody to see. I've highlighted even the fact just Pedro Pascal, the the tweets that he put out are the same as what she did. But hey, he's got the right line of thinking. So that doesn't matter. As long as, you know, you got the same values of Kathleen Kennedy, you're a okay. So, you know, all this stuff continues, by the way. Got Inverse putting an article out. Look at this. Look at this artwork bunch of uh, a bunch of uh, tweet birds taking down her as a as an at at what a pile what a what a joke this is an interesting article though I like how uh, I'll respect to RK outpost who's uh, who's linked in there he's the like the first channel linked uh, this highlights everything that happened and I find it funny like look at these people that got her taken down 23 comments nine likes. You know what I'm saying? And there's more of that in here. Look at this one. 2.1K hearts and 930 comments. This is enough to get you fired from some nobody on Twitter that gets barely any interaction. And you have to worry about that. Bunch of nobodies. 
can bring a a company to its knees. Doesn't even have to bring them to their knees. Doesn't even have to bring them to their knees. Can just uh, just get them to follow you. You know, they actively track the hashtag and make sure that uh, they keep it happy. So this was an interesting read. It, it goes everything, slams her, makes her makes her look like a pile of trash, and then calls for a, a ceasefire on Rosario Dawson uh, because she was horrified by the accusations thrown at her, even though she was uh, had all the charges dropped. You know, but she was remorseful or something. Uh, we'll see what happens there. Um, she hasn't done anything wrong either, but she has the right political th- political thinking. You know what I'm saying? So they won't get rid of her. They shouldn't get rid of her anyway. She didn't do anything wrong. But it's just it's just funny how you know it's so out in the open now that this is all politically done. And I don't know. I'm just I'm blown away that. A handful of people on Twitter can can get a company to do whatever they want. Actively will lose money and be okay with it to keep some weirdos on Twitter happy. Who, by the way, have been getting people have been getting people's Teespring stores to platform. Drunk 3PO. Uh, you know, obviously a play on C3PO. He had a he had a character. He had a, so he used this uh, the three PO model, and he had of course like a fedora on him, and he was drinking uh, a big beer, and kind of had some things around his head to make it look like he was intoxicated. Uh, he's been running that character like on his merchandise for a while now. Okay, and yes, it he he was using the three PO so. You, you could say, yeah, okay, Disney might have been in the right, but my point is, like, it was never a problem until now. So, all of these, all of these people on Twitter are going after him now simply because he's he's friends with Gina, and they managed to get his Teespring deplatformed. Now he still has some shirts up there, but like, what I mean by that is, like, see, drunk three PO mug, the shirts, anything with that character on it, they all wouldn't report it in mass. And got him taken down. It's just more petty shit by these people. And a lot of that came from his We Are the Rebellion shirts that he had. Uh, those are still fine from what I understand. Right here you can see Drunk 3PO. Uh, Welcome to the Rebellion. Also, uh, that Star Wars girl was doing the same thing. She has uh, her her painting that she made of Cara Dune and... Before it said Kara and then the Rebellion, I think, underneath it. And then, you know, her picture in the middle. They got that to platform, so she put it right right back up, and it just says Dune instead of Kara. And she said if they take it down again, she'll just put Gina and then the Rebellion. So she's just going to keep coming back with it. I just, uh, you know, these people, first off, they're furious that Gina gets to talk, that she has a platform. They're, they're seething, and they almost have, like, foam like a rabid dog, like coming down their mouth to how mad they are that she even has a platform and can go on Ben Shapiro's show. You know, they don't want her to talk and speak out. They went after family, all kinds of stuff. It's disgusting. When, when this happens to you, you're supposed to just lay down in a ditch and fade away and do it to non-existence. And she's, she's not doing that. So, you know, bring back George Lucas. I don't give a shit. And I don't think most people care anyway. Like, just Star Wars is dead. I, I just don't see it coming back from this. And, you know, it, the writing was on the wall for a while. You got oversaturation coming where they put down like 15 shows. You know, they're not all going to be good. Sorry to tell you that. Maybe like one or two will be good. We'll see. But either way, like, I'm not going to give them any money. If anything, like I said, I'll sail the high seas to check it out. And talk about it. I find the drama behind the scenes better than the stuff that they have going on on the screen anyway. So that's pretty much it. What do you guys think about all this? I'd like to hear what you have to say. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. 
Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, take a moment. Make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. Uh, there's something going on right now, and they've been unsubscribing people. So just take a second and double check on that and subscribe if you're new.